Hi guys, it's Kine. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this face, which was inspired by this hair that I'm wearing that I styled based off of like kind of a pastel Marie Antoinette inspired moment. I'm completely aware that this is nothing like how people actually looked in the 18th century. I took a little bit of sources of inspiration and then just kind of updated it to make it more exaggerated and dramatic. I'll put a full list of all the products that I used down in the description so you can follow along. Um, and let's just jump into the tutorial. Okay, so I'm starting off by gluing down my huge hairy man brows so I, I can draw on new feminine brows later on. And I'm also going to be gluing down my sideburns so the hair doesn't pop through the hairline of the wig. And when that's all fully dried, I'm going to powder it down. And then I'm covering my face with some pale foundation. In Marie Antoinette's time, I believe women were actually painting their face with white, but I'm too dark to do that, so I decided I would just use a really pale foundation so I don't look too clowny. I did highlight my brow bone and eye area, though, with white, just to really accentuate that area. In a lot of stages of history, and even in today in places like Asia, being fair-skinned is a sign of wealth because it means you're not in the working class that's out in the sun. So women back then even went as far as painting blue veins on their skin to make themselves look so transparent. Not my thing, but for them it can be cute. So with that being said, I'm just doing some subtle contouring around the face. The flat, flat white is just too weird for me. I took this palette of eyeshadows and just grabbed that bright pink and added some blush on the cheeks, um, or as Marie Antoinette's makeup artist would have called it, a rouge. And then I'm taking a totally separate eyeshadow palette, because I'm crazy, and I'm gonna mix these two top colors to put on my eyes. I always start off with the lightest color, which would be um, the teal as like a wash all over the eye socket to be really diffused, and then I darken the concentration with the blue a little bit lower. On the lash line and out into the outer lid, I'm going to put black eyeshadow and blending it into the blue. The idea is to create a gradient of black to teal using blue as the blending color in between. Here I'm applying liquid liner to help draw my eyes into a cat eye shape, which I kind of refine down and blend out later with black eyeshadow so it's not so bold. But before that, I'm going to reinforce the eyelid with an off-white shadow. And this helps to like open up the eyes and create a nice softened crease line that I like. Eye makeup in the 18th century was really simple. They were all about face and hair and body, so you can get creative with the eyes. I actually tried to do a pink eyeshadow look, but I scrapped it and started over, ultimately deciding that I would rather just go monochromatic and match my wig color. For the brows, you want to do thin, dark, curved brows, not in the shape of like a Nike check mark like you see on a lot of people today, more of just a soft arch is what they were doing back in the 18th century. Then next, I'm applying my beauty marks, which were actually just called beauty patches back in the day, fun fact, since they were actually just fabric that was glued onto the skin, but today I'm just going to be using liquid liner to draw them on. And then for the lips, I decided to go for just a subtle nude color. I tried to apply it in like some weird pursed lips kind of shape. It just looked weird, so I just settled on doing it normally. Of course, my makeup is never complete without a good lash. I'm actually skipping bottom lashes today because I just feel like a natural woman. And that's the finished look, guys. Here's a finished look, you guys, with a hair and outfit and everything. This hair, of course, is a wig from Powder Room D that I styled in my last video, so if you haven't already seen that, be sure to go check it out. I'll link it in the description, or you can click up here. If you choose to recreate this look or any others of mine on my channel, be sure to tag me. Um, all my social media links are down below. Not that I'm like one of those people that's like, you need to credit me as your original inspiration. I really just want to see because I'm curious what you guys do. Um, I also check the hashtag online kind on Instagram occasionally. Sometimes if you just mention me in a comment, I don't always see it. I'm just so popular, you know? Speaking of which, I want to shout out these people who have been recreating some of my looks um, and tagging me and messaging me. No, but seriously guys, it feels so unreal to wake up and check your phone and see people I don't even know recreating my looks. Especially this pop art one. So many of you guys are recreating this. I mean, I guess that's kind of the point of doing a makeup tutorial, but listen, as someone who's been doing this for almost four years, I kind of just see it as me having fun and being creative. It's really only recently that I'm starting to have an audience that's actually excited to watch and learn. So it's very rewarding and you guys are so talented. I think my favorite image might be this one from Miss Aurora Thunder from Cleveland, Ohio. I love how they gave it kind of a dark twist instead of the kind of traditional fun colorful way that I did it. It kind of reminds me of a French mime with like the white makeup and then the black outfit. 
very, very creative and inspiring. Top two of the week. Oh my God, I also wanna shout out these people who drew pictures of me, which is crazy. I kind of feel like these are prettier than what I actually look like, so I don't know how to feel about that, but thank you so much for tagging me. Go check out everyone's work. I made sure to put everyone's username on the screen so you have some new people to follow. If you liked this video, be sure to leave a comment um, and please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, if you didn't like it, you can block me. <laughs> um, that's what I'd probably do. <laughs> um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.